My name is Andrea Herman and I've come to Oregon State University as a co-lecturer for WSE 266 eCampus course on industrial hemp underneath the College of Forestry's Renewable Materials section. Over the last couple of days, I've learned that here in Oregon, there are a lot of press board factories. And of course, since you have ample amounts of wood here, but we are also focusing on how we can change the dynamics of how we're using those wood products and looking at what other products we can incorporate in. Also, I've learned that there's been a decline in the need for the grass seed production here. So that opens up acreage for hemp cultivation. We also have companies here that are already milling products into pow powders and food grade products. So that's something that or can re Oregon can readily pick up and include in their production and market zone. I think here in Oregon particularly, you know, you want to call up Senator Wyden in Merkley's office and tell him thank you. Let him know that you're a constituent and that you care about this issue and, and let him know if you do have any concerns about industrial hemp in your area. And beyond that, if you have family and it's in any other state, Call them, talk with them, start talking about this at lunch, at the supper table, make that communication flow start to open up. And I think we're never going to have that federal bill passed unless people voice their opinion. So like I say, if, you're, if your senator is already a sponsor, call them and say thank you. If they're not a sponsor, call them and let them know. And don't just call once, call more than once. Have your, your family, your colleagues, your husband, your kids make the phone call. The more phone calls we make, the, diff the, the better and the more difference it will end up making in the long run. Don't give up. <laughs> yeah, don't give up. And I think, you know, I mean, for me, this is something that, you know, was a dream for me. I, I, I felt passion and, and I had a lot of desire to see where hemp was going to go. It became a passion. It became my dream. It became a goal internally and externally. And fortunately enough, I, I stuck with it. And, and that's what's led me down this path. But so I hope that other people will be able to follow in, in my path. And through this course being offered at OSU, it's really going to open the opportunity for people to really follow their dream academia-wise and then be producing professional professionals coming out of the universities that are ready to go into the hemp marketplace and, and provide background and institutional knowledge that otherwise we don't have right now in the sector.